Today's Sunday, August 11th, 2012. It's revisited right here at Shelton House called the Murder Hotel. I want to ask John B. Rhea and everybody else, what is the cost-benefit analysis of putting me out wrongfully? <laughs> Let me introduce you a couple of my friends. They neighbors here. They say people up here hate me. I did so many bad things to them. Hello, mommy. <laughs> Bien, gracias a Dios. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? My house. I'm homeless. Sí. That's okay. Oh. I'm all right. Oh. I'm okay. Okay. Yes, mommy. What's up, papi? How you feeling? I love your hat, man. <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing? Everything okay? Beautiful. Huh? That time, you. Yes, thank you. Yes. Hello, madam. How are you? Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. U.S. Army. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, his son's a so grandson's a soldier. Hello, madam. How are you? Everything. Everybody's happy. Yes, I guess so. Well, I did as much as I could around here for everybody. And they went and said so many bad things about me. They said I was hurting you people and I was doing bad things about you. Is that true? I didn't think so either. I know you never hurt anyone. I never hurt anybody. If anything, I help people around here. But that's okay. I'm happy. Where are you at now? I'm homeless. I'm living out of this backpack. Yeah. I used to sleep right across the street over there. Yeah. I used to sleep there, and I'm doing this for people. I'm doing this for everybody that can't do it. I'm young. I can do it. I don't have a wife, no kids. And not only that, the disrespect. They, they, they got a, uh, a whole lot of shelter. Why don't you go to the shelter better? I don't sleep in the street, you know? I sleep, no, I, I have a uh, gym membership oh, yeah. where I go to the gym, and I put the backpack in the locker. And then from there, I take a shower. I get in the sauna. I have to have my same lifestyle, and then I go to my storage unit and I change my clothes. I work out of the library. I know the guy, that, the head of the whole library system. A lot of good people who knew who I was, what I had, all that stuff. It's a, so now it's in front of um, Justice um, Phyllis Flug in New York State Supreme Court, and we're going to fix everything. The judge, look, what these people, what their people, these people are doing, it's a crime. And then, because I'm a Haitian, you know what they did. That's like they do all the other immigrants, and they can't do that. And the black elected officials, they only want to do for their African American. They don't want y'all to know nothing. They don't want nobody to know anything, so they can stay in the power. How come it's not all black here anymore? And the skin color shouldn't matter. This is supposed to be America. Now the skin color matters more than well, before. We got a whole bunch of people from there. Yeah, but when they did what they did to me for helping Mrs. Funny Green, they took, Hosea Mitchell on the 10th floor took $20,000 out that lady's bank account. And then they left her in her apartment with the gas stove on. You can't do that. They did so many bad things. Now I, I see... Hosea Mitchell and Neva Harper, they're not on the tenant, but they can't because of the lawsuit, because of all the stuff I expose against them. And it's my job. And if we can't live together, I don't want to live around them. So now... Yeah, well, this is better for me. Um, I Oh, on the 16th of, uh, of this month, on Thursday at 6 o'clock, Channel 35... Um, my documentary is coming back on TV on cable. Okay? Okay, my dear. Bye, mommy. Bye, Okay, papi. I'll see you later, brother. All right, now. Love you all. Thanks a lot. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, people. As you can see, Justice Flug 
everything they said about me is not true. And the woman behind me, that is the mother, Charles Carey, that's the mother of the police officer whose two brothers are drug dealers and the baby daddy's a drug dealer. And those are the guys you sent after me, it is alleged. Okay? And she's very mean and very nasty. Those are the people that don't like me around here, the bad people. The drug dealers and the drug dealing families and the people with the drug crookedness, all that stuff. Okay? So, I want to make sure I keep this on so y'all can see for yourselves what life is really like around here. I'm going to even cross the street. Oh no, she's across the street. I'm not going to go there. All right, so that's what it is. There she is, right there. That's the mother of the cop. And the cop just moved from 162nd Street right here, 162-20, 89th Avenue, to 164th Street. That's what it is. All right, people? Oh, God. That's the mother of the cop. That's a bad cop. Dope pushing kids. Mother works in a factory. 